Channing Castle is said to be the most haunted castle in the UK and it's got more than 100 ghosts haunted this place Wait a damn minute <laughs> And it was built as a morgue before the 1206 later transferred into a castle It's kind of weird like there was a morgue before it was a castle It's got more than 100 ghosts haunted this place wonder why this got you know more than that because this was a morgue before actually the castle that I see now it stands as where gnomes fall today it was a morgue it was a morgue museum and it was used to be home to the great family at the 1246 and the original manor was designed by a Scottish man by 1296 by 1298 the new manor was built I mean, as i said this apparently this is one of the most famous things out there in terms of in the uk and that for me i heard of this through some creepy so that's what i'm kind of doing this for but i've heard of this before um until then sam creepy went here with dust games and for the training hamster it was really strange where it was built in a weird location you also bought your farm england to scotland in the middle ages and england was wanted to be owned by Scotland. The Scottish restaurant once the Chillingham Hotel was used as a checkpoint to cross from England to Scotland. This was in a, in a weird kind of spot because it was like kind of a cross point from England to Scotland. And just overall, I think it's just like in a weird place. So there's a couple of stories about this place now. And the first, Sorry, what I will be telling you is the ghost of Lady Mary, and then um, Lady Mary is still looking for her husband to today. And you took off her sister, and you can hear sounds of a long skirt pushing from you know the ground. You can hear before she appears, your awful steps whispering, whispering. You've got um, cold spots in the castle. And some sometimes people can get touched by her in terms of like those a pinch or those grab or anything like that by her. It's really weird because it's like I never really heard about this story before. So it's like really weird to change. And I just want to just talk about the gardens slash the grounds of this specific garden castle. And um, the grounds is a beautiful place. And the castle where it's said is completely beautiful inside, and the grounds are looked can be think. Um, there were a couple of trees there, and specifically three trees, and um, all of them were hanging people from, and obviously they were dead. So, but one of them still lives on from today. And when people were hanging and were seen to the death, they will leave the bodies up there until they, you know broke off from you know the string or whatever they want to call them from them gathered from this place not every place is gonna murder there but for this specific place i kind of gathered there were a lot of murders lot of you know killing people hanging them from trees and that kind of stuff and with this specific place i'm kind of gathered that by how the old stories are the less loose of ghosts here as i said at the beginning of this video and just overall that's what i'm gathering from this place there's loads of night murders and killing and stuff like that within these walls it's really strange to hear about that and the corpse will remain around there and up in the trees it's kind of sad to hear about that and the surface will get cold right now where the big tree is and i think that big tree is still there or around where it may lose beer and it's kind of cold and it's just really weird and just sad about when people used to be hanging here and as, as I said when this was built it was kind of like that anyway so I will end with follow just say I hope you enjoyed this one remember to subscribe like and comment and follow me on Instagram and TikTok I will leave them down below and I will see you in my next one bye